as you can imagine, there is certain parts of the cylinder head that are going to see a lot of abuse, namely the camshafts. Now, the camshafts are, uh, they, they have one of the toughest jobs in the, in the whole engine, and they see a lot of metal on metal abuse. And so they need to be made of a certain material and a certain hardness in order to withstand that consistent abuse or consistent contact. There is two materials that camshafts are typically manufactured from, and that is billet or cast. So there's actually no hardness call out for a manufacturer to know how hard their camshaft should be because these parts are designed to slide. They slide against the rocker, they slide against the, a, a, um, a lifter or what have you, and when they don't slide, they die. Now, a camshaft's not going to induce wear, so meaning no matter how hard it is, so if the manufacturer makes it uh, so hard and then they make it another hardness that all of a sudden now it's gonna be an issue, because as long as it's doing what it's supposed to do and slide against the lifter, slide against the rocker, then the hardness just does not matter. So there's lots of talk about uh, when we get into the hardness and we get into the camshafts and the lubrication and the sliding, that a DLC coating, it's a diamond-like coating, uh, is introduced that all of our worries go away. Well, DLC is really awesome because it makes the parts slipperier, it does not make them harder. So it doesn't make it withstand wear because of uh, something else is harder but it will make the part slipperier, which makes less friction, and it needs less lubrication for it to work. So I get a question a lot, is this expense needed? Well, it's not really needed, unless you are the guy who's not going to change his oil a lot, you run E85, and you want to leave it in there all winter, or you want to leave it over there a couple months, and it contaminates the oil, and now you have less film strength, and you just don't really want to work on your car. It is worth you to invest, no matter what camshaft material you have, it's worth the investment to get a DLC coated bucket. If you are the guy who works on it all the time and you're very religious about changing your oil, um, it's only going to reduce the friction, it's not going to change your life, but it's not a bad thing to have it in there, but it's not needed. It's a want. The coating is only going to help the lifter survive if the oil is contaminated with E85 or with water or what have you and it's losing its viscosity. The thing it's not going to protect you from is impact. Kind of impact? Well, if you have a spring condition called valve float, uh, this is where the bucket's going to flutter at the top of the bucket hole. The camshaft's going to hit the bucket, it's going to strike it now instead of sliding it's going to strike it exceeding the film strength and it's going to induce wear into the bucket. Uh, it does not care if it's DLC coated, if it's cast, if it's billet, the camshaft is now going to strike the bucket and, and it's going to be like a hammer. It's going to beat the crap out of everything involved. So the other issue with valve flow is that the valve seats to a 45 degree angle on the valve seat when you have valve flow this angle gets beat into the valve. And when it gets beat into the valve, now the valve stem starts rising. It's gonna go higher. It's, so now we're gonna lose lash. When we lose lash, we're losing film strength because that's what lash is meant to be. And we're also gonna lose spring pressure. When we lose spring pressure, it's gonna go in the valve float even easier because now the valve, or the valve spring, is not gonna be at the correct height. And it's going to create other issues you're going to see that on the base circle of the cam and it's going to just take everything out so when we tighten up lash we're going to leave less and less room for the oil to be a protectant of the metal to metal contact as we discussed earlier and the seesaw effect really is going to happen until there's a catastrophic failure usually the bucket is the first thing to go or if it's a cast cam, it's gonna take out the cast and the bucket. Head games condone it or does head games offer it? Actually, we don't because we have actually failed it before and we made adjustments to our program to make sure that you don't need it. It's a want. So these videos are made because I constantly get drug into, Dave LaCalio, get drug into a lot of these conversations about billet cams and DLC code buckets. I'm answering this question daily 
And we really needed to put some information out there of how does head games, how does head games do all these heads without doing a DLC coded bucket? Well, we're gonna make a part two of this. You can feel free to like and comment below on this video. And if you wanna see a certain something, we'll be happy to show you. But we're gonna show you how does head games get away with using a GSC camshaft or at any billet camshaft in any situation. And this includes Subarus and, and Evos and everything else and not have these cam failures that a lot of people are seeing. Um, that's it. Talk soon.